tricky, you know, in that uh, even without the, the delay in there, um, you don't start on the one, you start on two. For me, it's like, it's like what is it that I, you know, of course, now I'm playing everything down a half a step. So it adds an extra layer of confusement to it. Uh, but so, so, one, three, four, uh, three, four, it's, it's the there's the same phrase just repeated in a different starting on a different beat or a different section of the beat the hardest part of it really is really the last part that's it. That last, the very last couple of notes. It's hard to get that phrase just right to be with the rhythm section and still not get get in the way of the vocal because the vocal has come in by this time, you know. So it's kind of in back of the vocal, but it's still I'm still up front playing my solo. Okay, we're gonna play this on tenor. Um, say it isn't so. I like to call it say it isn't solo. Say it isn't solo. Uh, a little slower than it is on the on the uh, recording. So we'll be looking at the chart. Uh, well, here we go. A one, two, three, four. Uh. how that goes but like there's a couple of little things like the high F sharp I do a little how do you how would you describe that it's kind of a bend it's kind of a you kind of have like there's a it's almost like a little like a gliss or a yeah there's like play that F sharp for, for a while and try different different uh, Amish or something It's another bend, but not a, a like a serious bend. Like. It's kind of in the throat. You take it like from the throat. I'm trying to analyze what I did on this. It's, it's kind of that's a whole other area of like. All right, you, you do it. You can feel it in your body when it happens. Then I say, what? What is it? How do you tell somebody how to how to do that? You know, it's, it's like the whole the circular breathing thing. I I can do it, right? Uh, anybody can circular breathe. It's not it's not magical. I mean, I mean, I'm sure uh, uh, Kenny G won a won a Guinness Book of World Records for doing it, the longest circular breathing note. But I'm sure that's the only one that made it to the Guinness Book of World Records. The other people have circular breathe for hours, many hours. Uh, Rossan Roland Kirk. But he didn't get in the Guinness Book because he didn't apply for it or whatever. And there's there's a didgeridoo players from Australia that can circular that's that's the whole basis of their of their thing when they play in the didgeridoo. Circular breathing. Which is just basically breathing in through your nose while you're breathing out through your cheeks. <laughs> for a long time and it's boring though you know <laughs> but but uh, what Ross on used to do would, would be he would not only be circularly breathing but he'd be playing a lot of notes at the same time you know so it would be like he'd be 
It's, it's like you want to catch your breath when you're listening to him play, but it's, it sounds like he's never taking a breath. And he's just playing away. Uh, uh, I would rather, actually, I like to hear even a, uh, like a person that doesn't need to breathe to be able to play. I mean, of course, you got to breathe. But <laughs> uh, a bass player, you know. I always like, I, I, I like the T-bone, like, God rest his soul, T-bone. We used to, we, and when he was playing the guitar especially, but also we would trade off when he was playing bass. We used to um, trade off. I mean, I would, I would take four bars and he would improvise four bars. And it was kind of like a dialogue, like a conversation, you know, where each guy is listening to what the other guy is doing and try to do something similar or something that's, that advances the conversation a little bit, right? But, you know, Washington plays like he actually would breathe with his phrasing, you know, which, you know, you don't have to, you can just, you can just play bass. You don't have to breathe any particular place. But, but I, I noticed it, you know, and I noticed it in, in players like, especially guitar players, if you've got a phrasing that's in, t- in keeping with your breath, it makes it more human and more musical too. So, like, that's probably why I don't circular breathe. Plus, it's really hard to keep that up. It's, it's a physical thing. Uh, Colin Stetson is a master of the circular breathing thing. Uh, I saw him at the, uh, one of those Montreal jazz festivals, because we were in Montreal and we had a day off. So, went to, like, he was playing in a tent all by himself. Just one guy with a bass saxophone. And he was, he was wired up. He had a, he had a, uh, a band around his neck. That was wired, and he had the he had wires on his sax so that you could hear you could hear the key clicks and everything. That would be a rhythm that he would be going, and he would be playing endless arpeggios, and uh, and circular breathing, and also playing. <laughs> it would would be getting the upper harmonics of the of the arpeggios too. He had it worked out. He'd like great player. And just incredibly, a really athletic feat, uh, almost as much as a musical feat. It's athletic, man. He was he was in shape, and he probably still is. But he's also very musical. <laughs>